After being raped in 2015, Victoria made the decision not to report the assault to police. And because of this decision, Victoria's relationship with her boyfriend, Chris, has suffered tremendously. He now questions whether or not she was really raped. Take a look. Three years ago, my fiance had told me that one of my friends that we do know had raped her at my house. She hated the guy, and she really wanted him out the house. She told me she, she, he brutally raped her, forcing her down while my son was uh, laying in the bed sleep while I was at work. And I, I, I forced her to go to the police station and make a, a statement on the situation that happened because I was, I was in pain, you know, because it, it all happened in my house, and I, this has never happened to me. In, uh, in my residence before, so um, I wanted to take care of the situation right then and there. She decided she didn't want to press charges on the guy, and that's kind of what made me look at her a little differently. If he did it, she would have pressed charges on him immediately. So I believe she would have said anything to get him out the house. If that happened to me, I would have went straight to the police and told them and, and made a statement about the situation. If I find out that she is lying today and making this whole situation up. I will move out the house. I'm gone. I'm leaving. And I'm taking the baby. I'm taking the baby with us and, and we're heading we're heading on somewhere else. Uh, Victoria, that's your boyfriend on the tape and he doesn't believe that you were raped. Yes, and that's very hurtful. Um, I resented him for a long time. Um, it makes me angry. I feel like he should have supported me and had my back. Um, I kind of understand not going to the police. That makes things look bad. Um, but there were reasons I didn't go. I wasn't emotionally ready to go to the police. And then also being scared of not being believed. Sure. Um, yeah. Um, what, can you tell me what happened? Well, it, it started with um, the friend got into the argument one time and neighbors kind of heard the, promo the commotion. Um, they called the police. At this time, the friend had left, but the police, you know, saw that I had an unpaid ticket, you know, which turned into a traffic warrant, so I got arrested. Um, I stayed in jail for two days until a relative bailed me out. Um, that night that I got released, the friend called Chris said that he wanted to come apologize. He was sorry for everything that happened and that I ended up in jail. So I didn't want him to come over. I felt like if he wanted to apologize, he could apologize over the phone. I really didn't want to be around this guy. And Chris was persistent. He was like, well, no, let him come over. He wants to come over, play video games, hang out. I said, okay, fine. Um, so Chris, he had to leave for work the next morning at about five in the morning, had to be there really early. Uh, my son, he was a baby back then, so I went and got him a bottle. When I went out to the refrigerator, I had on, you know, kind of a short gown, and the friend was on the couch sleep, and he saw me in the gown saying he liked how I looked in the gown, and he wanted, you know, he started making advances and kind of touching on me, and I told him to stop, and I'm elbowing him off of me and he wasn't really letting up. And I didn't think he would go as far as he did, um, but next thing I know, I find myself on the floor being held down. Even when I tried to crawl away, he would yank me back from my ankles. It was nothing I could really do to stop him because he was being really forceful. Then, you know, once he finished doing what he was doing, he said, I can't do this, even though he already did what he did. He was like, I can't do this, and runs in the bathroom. Then when he comes out the bathroom, he starts apologizing. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Don't tell anyone. And um, at that point, I was just kind of in a daze trying to process what happened. You don't believe me, Chris? I mean, Victoria, come on. I've now. known you since I was 19 years old. Everything we've been through. You know, you knew what kind of person this guy was when he would be at the house, money coming up missing out of my purse. And you let this, you would leave somebody like that alone with me and your son in the house and go to work? Um. What's your feelings on this whole situation? She won't let it go. You know what I'm saying? This situation. She won't. She won't let it go. That you won't believe her. Right. That I won't believe. I'm not gonna let and it I, go. I believe her, but at the same time, I don't believe. Do you believe a sex act occurred? Yes. I mean, only because she told me. I, I, I confronted him. I came to him like a man. I said, "Hey, 
what's going on with the situation and uh Because at this point you already right. know that she upset. told you right she that, told me that and, she was and assaulted. I, right and i learned the situation so, so you go to your friend and what does he say he told me nothing happened nothing nothing no sex nothing at all and looked me right in my face and told me that nothing happened and do you do you believe them i don't believe them because she told me that something happened. But did you tell your friend that you believed he him? He wouldn't let me leave until I said I believe him. And it was so sad. What? It was what sad. Did anyone let I, you I, leave? I, I, did, I don't believe him, but it's like, yo, I mean, he, you know, he wanted to make his, you know, he wanted to make sure that I understood that, you know. Uh, so even though he, you didn't he believe did, him, you said I believe you. I had to believe him just, just so he can just, you know, go ahead and keep right. keep going. Have you stayed in touch with this friend? I have not. I haven't seen him since. That's what I'm saying. Has I he avoided you? He's been avoiding everybody. I mean, doesn't that make you a little suspicious? That's why I'm here today. That's, I want to find out. What happens if she's been telling the truth for the past three years? Well, I, I owe her, I, I owe her uh, everything. Uh, really, probably get married, uh, you know, <laughs> maybe go to the next level. I mean, I, I, the thing is, I'm, I'm, willing if, if, I'm willing to look past this situation, but, you know. So she here's, she, here's the she thing. She can't get past it. Here's the thing. When a woman says she's been sexually assaulted, you know, and say like, as an investigator, police, policeman, right. you gotta take their word for it until you know that I, it's not true. That's right, and I took the word. No, it doesn't seem like you did. I did, I, I ain't gonna lie. I said I believe, I, I believe her fully because she was living with me. And I, I know, I guess I never You've seen this. You've been saying you're on tape and everything, you no, don't I, believe her. I, I don't believe her, but the whole oh, thing, God, I'm not, you know, the whole thing is, no, no. I'm not, no, I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying I, I believe 100%. I'm saying there's, there's some doubt there. I want to just then, know. Let's say, forget being a policeman. This is your woman. Right. Right. I mean, she did go to the hospital and they, they got evidence. Right. Tori came here because you've been dealing with this for three years. So you come here and you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did that friend use physical force to make you have sex with them? You answered yes. That morning, did you verbally resist that friend's attempt to have sexual intercourse with you? You answered yes. Was the sex that you had that morning with that friend consensual? You answered no. The results came back all the same. When they came back, that Victoria told the truth. And why, why did I have to come on national TV for you to believe me? Well, I'm sorry. I told you I was sorry. telling the I'm truth. Sorry. I'm sorry. I told you I was I'm telling sorry. the I'm truth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, girl. I love you. So you... now you want to hug no, me? No, I'm no sorry. keep the same energy, Chris. It... Keep the same energy. Okay. I, I shouldn't have had to come all the way here on national TV to prove this. And I've been telling you this for years. You right, this way. You right. I mean, I get you whatever you want. I do whatever. It's you not want. even about that. It's not even about that. I just want support. I mean, I'm saying it I, I would be I, I you are one of the most cringe-worthy guys I've ever met I'm on this show. I mean, everything you say is bad and wrong. You're right. You're and, right. I, uh, I just want I just want to be there for you. I just I, I mean, the situation is I just want you to feel better. I just want you to get past the situation. And the whole thing is I want you to prosecute the man. I want you to go ahead and take it further. I asked you to take it further earlier. You did. How about start with this? What do you want to do? I, I mean, the truth is out. I just want to move on with our lives and hope we can forget about this. The truth is out. You know I'm not a liar. You know, so can we move forward? We can. Okay. Are you, you, you willing? Okay. When you go through something like that, you might want to talk to somebody professionally and, and work some of some feelings you have about that. Um, I can't imagine. So I'm, I'm sorry that happened to you. I'll get some help. I, I, I'll see you a counselor. You need some help. I'll, get, I'll, 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 I'll see a counselor or something. Um, and, 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 and try to be caring, thoughtful, you know. You're right. Understand, understand what she more. went through. Right. It, you know, buying her something can't fix that. You're right, you're right. Nothing. You're right. Okay? Just being there for her, being loving, and being protective of her. That's what you can do. Okay.
Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Very nice Thank to you. Thank you so much.